I'm going to share a couple of personal stories with you today. Uh, you know, on social media, we always hear about all the good things that happen, everything that works out great. Well, I'm going to share with you some of the sh if that's cool, right? Not everything is the way you think it is. And for all of the good things I've accomplished in my life and all the lessons I've learned, they didn't come without a cost. The first one I'll share it comes back all the way back to my rugby days. And I would captained a, a men's club for many, many years. And when I took it over, um, we were a top team that had two back-to-back -back very poor seasons. I took it over and within three seasons, we built it back to a top performing team, massive winning record year over year again and again and again. And the flaw was this, I kept thinking it was because of me, okay? How great I was. Now I was an impact player, I influenced the players around me, but I let that get to my head, ego. And this is where I dropped the ball as a leader. I eliminated any type of other input, insight. I removed what we call our select committee. I removed our elders from decision-making. I did away with our vice captain because I figured that my decisions were the right decisions and the result was that we were winning cause and effect. This is what I found out. When I left that team to play on a select side for a couple of years, that team immediately imploded. And it wasn't because they were different players or worse players, it's because I had stripped the team of its leadership hierarchy made a codependency on me as a dictator. So when I left, it created a void, a vacuum. So I did more harm to my family than I did good. And I thought I was some sort of hero. It was one of my greatest failures as a leader, but it opened my eyes to the impact of proper leadership. And how leadership is not about me, it's about creating success for those that I lead and creating other leaders.